bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. This week's lesson is entitled, The Call of Ezekiel. Our scriptures are located in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1, verses 1 through chapter 3, verse 27. Ezekiel was a prophet of God. In a vision, God called Ezekiel to speak to the stubborn, rebellious children of Israel under Babylon captivity, so that they would know that there is a prophet, a true prophet, among them because they had refused to hear God's previous attempts to correct them. They held to a false hope that they would return to Jerusalem, but that hope existed because Jerusalem had not yet fallen. Ezekiel had a tough assignment, but what task is easy when it comes to bringing a message of doom and God's judgment and correction to God's people? In the vision, Ezekiel was commanded to eat the scroll of God's word, which symbolized the act of Ezekiel taking God's word as his only words to speak. God's message would not be mixed with Ezekiel's opinion or theories, and this would set him apart from what everybody else was saying and believing. Many think that God isn't speaking today through his prophets and ministers, and this isn't just a belief in the world, it's a belief in the church. But those who think this are wrong and stubborn and will harden their hearts, bringing disaster upon those who follow them as well as themselves. God's word is truth, whether some like it or not. And what God says will happen right on time as he has planned it, even if it doesn't look like it. The message that God sent to the stiff-necked people was a bitter one in their ears. But when Ezekiel ate the word in his vision, the taste was sweet like honey. This is because the source was God, and he's sweet, I know. Ezekiel wasn't called to speak to all of Israel, just those exiled in Babylon. All of Israel did, however, have a belief in common, and that was that the plan to overtake Jerusalem by the enemy would fail. Ezekiel was sent to tell them that Jerusalem would fall. God strengthened Ezekiel for the task because he knew that the captives and leadership would stare him down and roll their eyes at him, trying to intimidate him. God made sure that that wouldn't work. God pointed out that if Ezekiel was sent to people of a different language, that his assignment would be a whole lot easier and they would at least try to listen even if they had a communication barrier. But God's people wouldn't even listen to God. Surely they wouldn't listen to Ezekiel. Please join us again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J. Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.